More than 5 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease. Today, Alzheimer's is the seventh leading cause of death in the United States. We spoke with Dr. William Shankel at Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach, who gave us more information on Alzheimer's and told us why it robs people of their memories. Alzheimer's is a disease of the brain that is actually due to brain repair. Um, what I mean by that is that whenever there's damage to the brain of any type, you could have a stroke, you could have a head injury, you could have seizures, um, you could have uh, inflammation from an infection like a meningitis or an encephalitis, uh, you could have uh, kidney failure, okay, and the kidney failure can cause changes in the biochemical balance in the brain. All of these things will then invoke a repair process that then leads to beta amyloid and starts to produce this process that we call Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Shankel told us who's at risk for Alzheimer's. The general answer to who's at risk for developing Alzheimer's or any other cause of memory loss or what we call cognitive impairment is if you're over 50 years old, okay? Um, the reason for that is that uh, va vascular disease or multiple small strokes start to accumulate in the brain at 50 years old in anybody who has a risk factor for vascular disease. And the risk factors are diabetes, hypertension, smoking, high cholesterol, heart disease. 90% of the people in the United States have one or more of those risk factors. There are now many, many genes that have been identified that are associated with inheriting Alzheimer's. And how is Alzheimer's treated? There are a number of ways of treating Alzheimer's disease. First, is if there are no symptoms, but one has an increased risk, such as there's a family member, then it becomes useful to identify which risk factors you have that are likely to increase your chance of developing Alzheimer's disease. And if you modify those risk factors, uh, it may very well delay the first appearance of symptoms. Okay, so you can get about a three to five year delay um, simply by identifying your risk factors and properly treating them. What medications are available for Alzheimer's? Over a 14 year period, which is the average duration of the clinical period of Alzheimer's disease, we can delay this disease by five to six years. When you give Nemenda plus a cholinesterase inhibitor, that keeps people out of nursing homes, out of institutions, keeps them enjoying their favorite hobbies and activities. We asked Dr. Shankel to give us his best advice for people over 50. There's an extensive body of research showing exercise has many, many beneficial effects. People who exercise after 50 years old are much less likely to become cognitively impaired and demented than those um, who don't exercise. Diet is relevant. Uh, diets related to cholesterol, uh, to uh, the fuels that are needed for the brain and for the nerve cell membranes. And we have now reached uh, 96 to 97 percent accuracy in detecting the earliest clinical stage of Alzheimer's and other conditions with a 10-minute memory test that is available in physicians' offices nationwide.